All right, uh, today, I'm not sure how many people are going to join me in for this because uh, it's, it's something different. I'm just going to play Final Fantasy 7, or not 7, Final Fantasy 3, uh, the, the SNES version. You know. I might have to adjust the audio. Volume mixer, just to make sure I don't get... There we go. Let's start it. So I've played this game, like, um, this might also still be a little loud, the game audio here to, I played this game like a couple times before, uh, oh no, that thing doesn't display the entire no no it's three SNES I'm gonna have to change the uh hello zero gravity on zero gravy on excuse me um this isn't gonna fit with the the thing that I've got going on That's not it. There we go. It is a good game. Damn it. Alright, well, that's about as good as it's going to get, unfortunately. I did not plan for that contingency. Did not think that uh, the the chat window would not be too small. I'll fix that next time. I kind of made this layout uh, in in about 15 minutes. Should have probably thought it out a little more, but oh well. Yeah, it, fu it functions. I just wish that it I had uh, thought of it a little better. I didn't know that because the text would be so big on the Twitch version that it would not display the entire username. And I'd rather have the entire username displayed than like the first three letters and dot dot dot. So, uh, I'm not gonna skip this, because it's my favorite song in the game. Oh, no! Firefox. Why? Why did you betray your gravy on like that? So this game, I think, made number two on the Game Informer Top 100 RPGs of all time, which is like one of the only decisions I agree with on that list. Like maybe not number two, but extremely high up there deserves like number, like top 10.
God, I love that mode 7 too. Jeez. Um, so Game Informer had a top 100 RPGs of all time list in their latest magazine, and it was terrible. Like, Skyrim was number one. Uh, Bloodborne was, like, number 11. Gravy works. Okay. All right, Gravy works. Okay, I'm an asshole. And, oh, hmm. Well, I think the game bugged out a little bit. Uh, Terra doesn't have all those functions from the beginning, beginning of the game, but whatever. It still looks like it's working out. Yeah, a little buggy. A little buggy, because the... I didn't- I don't have, like, the missile or anything, but, eh. Yeah, Skyrim is, like, number one, um... Mass Effect 2 is number four? Which is the- the worst Mass Effect game. It's the worst one. Um... But, uh, this game was, like, number two. So, I wouldn't say it was pro I wouldn't say it's number two, but it's damn good. So, uh, yeah. It's, like, one of the few decisions I agree with on that entire list. Oh no, pincer attack. Maybe I should heal Wedge. Oh, well. That... That's weird. I actually didn't know that they were resistant to ice. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely the, um... It was number one of, uh... It was number... It was a top-ranked Final Fantasy on that list, so... I, I agree with that, for sure. Uh, yeah, I'd say it counts as an RPG. I should turn up the combat speed to full after this. Because I, I forgot to do that completely. And as a result, it's just kind of crawling! Uh, what button is it? Okay, it's that one. Uh, oh, some speed. Come on. Short command set. I like that better. Uh, memory. There we go. I didn't know that it was like the battle speed was a fixed thing. Hmm.
Wow, they've gained two levels. Oh, oh, cool. Okay. She must have been like a level higher than them. Huh, this is weird. I, th I thought save points were blue. Hmm, well. Oh, I didn't. Hmm. Oh, whoops. Uh. Hi, Razzle Dazzle. Thanks for this. Thanks for the follow. I managed to get your name up just in time. This battle music is so good, I remember that. I forgot all about the how good this battle music is. Magic is actually stronger than the Magitech. Uh oh. Shit, 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 shit. Oh. Oh. Okay, so, uh. I'm not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. This may, in fact, be a little bit of a ROM hack. Uh, this, this may be a bit uh, different from the vanilla Final Fantasy III experience. <laughs> I, I may be playing uh, Final Fantasy VI Brave New World, which is... It doesn't sit... Oh, hey. Hey, Malik. Hey. Uh, I'm playing Final Fantasy uh, 3 Brave New World. Is that a remix? Yeah, it's... Or is it's, that an original one? Um, it's, it's a ROM hack of the original that uh, fixes some major balance issues. As a result, the game's a little bit harder. But, um... But... It, apparently, it's not too much harder, unless, of course, uh, Welk is programmed to just automatically do 9,999 damage automatically when you attack the shell. So I think that just happened. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't Learn build... how the enemy works or pay the price. <laughs> well, he who does not follow the law must enter the house of pain. Well, the thing is, um... It, uh, it doesn't bill itself as a, as a difficulty ROM hack, it's, but he does say as a, as a result of the game being balanced and not completely broken anymore, the game is actually a little bit harder. Well, I guess I should stop watching you play through Dark Souls 2. <laughs> I'm gonna watch you stream Final Fantasy 3. <laughs> or are we calling this one Final Fantasy 6? Uh, technically it's 6. I was just calling it Final Fantasy 3 on tw Twitter and everything just to be like, yeah, I'm not playing ROM hack at all. This, this is how the game's supposed to be. Final Fantasy 3 for the Super Nintendo. But yeah, it's, it's 6. I don't think I ever finished this game. 
I finished it like once or twice. Uh, I've it's definitely not one of the Final Fantasies that I've completed to death like nine or the original. I've I've completed the original, but um, but only in like remakes and stuff. I've never completed the original original because the original original is buggy as hell and half the game doesn't work. I'm going to say the only Final Fantasy I've completed to death would be Final Fantasy 7. Because did you know that some of the pressings of the game actually had save errors? Huh. Where you could access things and events out of order and it breaks the game completely. It's kind of funny and kind of sad. <laughs> so another one of another thing that the ROM hack does is that um it fixes the translation a bit. Uh and by that I mean we don't get any of Ted Woolsey's great lines like son of a submariner or um or he's loaded for bear. Loaded for bear is an actual statement. Yeah, it is. But unfortunately, uh, people who... The criminals who don't like Ted Woolsey's uh, translation of this game uh, feel like that shouldn't be what it is. Yeah, I agree, Gravy. That's It's not a fix. But... Uh, I can't believe someone would go and just take someone else's work and disregard it like that. Hmm. Okay. He says over here, but I wonder if there's still stuff in the clocks. Yep, there's still elixirs in all the clocks. Who would keep elixirs and all the clocks? Oh, wait, that's to keep the time healthy. <laughs> Thanks, Zero Gravy. Yawn for the, uh, for the, for the follow. Uh, for the two people who have followed me, this is not something I usually stream. This is, um, it's kind of weird for me to stream something like this. Uh, I, I usually stream... I, I usually don't stream ROM hacks. I usually stream stuff like Dark Souls. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, I usually stream stuff like Dark Souls and more action-based games. I don't like. I don't usually do turn-based uh, RPGs like this. I saw you had pinball. That Kalen so also does oh, a lot I, of the pinball. I do do a lot of pinball. I love me some pinball. Uh, I usually stream pinball every night that I work and close, because by the time I get out of there, by the time I get home, it's like 8.15, 8.30, too late to start a normal stream, so I just wait until 10 o'clock and stream some pinball. It's really good and fun. Uh, last time I streamed pinball, I, I played a table that completely broke me. Just like spiritually, mentally. Uh, Ted and Sam's uh, cross country uh, adventure. Yeah, Red, Red and Ted's uh, road trip or road adventure or something like that. It was. I think jackpots were you get a ball into Ted's mouth during multi ball. Okay. Like, I, I had no idea. Just to clear that okay. up. Okay. Because that's what it looked like. You know, I love these old JRPG games because I keep looking at them and I'm I'm the kind of person who would skew the mechanics of a JRPG so evilly. <laughs> like, if you were under 80% health, you would do less damage. 
Oh. Oh, that sounds evil. I would also get rid of a lot of things, like turn-based mechanics. Well, yeah. There's a reason turn-based mechanics don't really pop up too often anymore. No, uh, it's because people are, like, more focused on making everything look pleasing. More fidelity. And, you know, it's hard to captivate someone with turn-based mechanics. Yeah. But I'm saying that combat would happen, combat rounds, would happen simultaneously. Oh, okay, that's right. And depending on who had what, uh, who had what attacks and things, I, I would change it up. I don't like the, I don't like the stat grind. I don't like the EX thing, but I realize that that's what a lot of people find fun in these games. Uh, I don't really like grinding. I, have, I I try to keep grinding to a minimum, especially on camera. Like, if I have to grind, I'll end the stream and do that off camera. Um, something else that this game fixes is that a lot of the care like, it doesn't pop up until later, but uh, espers can only, only be attached to certain characters. Like, certain characters get certain espers. Like, um... I think every character gets, like, I don't know, three or four espers they can equip. Uh, stack boosts are more based on character than they are on what esper you have attached. Um, as a result, like, all their initial, like, their innate abilities have been balanced out. Like, um, Locke, for instance, his, his stealing stuff, you can't steal from, like, most, a lot of random mooks. Uh, just like rabbits and stuff, you can only really steal off of humanoid enemies because it makes sense. So things that would have pockets. Yeah, but as a result, uh, the stuff that you can steal is a lot more valuable. And also, um, his stealing, like, the dice, it's just a straight dice roll. It doesn't account for your level anymore. Why did he change Kefka up? Oh, also a thing about this translation is that um, previous versions were a lot more potty mouth based. There's still a bunch of swears in this, but it used to be like every other word out of Kefka's mouth was the fuck word. Okay, why Kefka being badly translated actually added to his character from the original yeah. Final Fantasy air quotes 3 it made him seem out of place yeah i Everybody really liked else had... i really liked son of a submariner and i'd hope that 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 the uh, that the new that the fixed translation that is less cuss wordy actually puts that back in but hard to say but I liked how in the original Final Fantasy VI game, Kefka, the way he talked in the translations, was off. Like, all the things he said, all the ways he talked, he seemed out of place compared to everybody else. I mean, to be fair, we've only seen, like, three words, three lines out of his mouth, so maybe it, maybe it's still off later but Maybe. i don't know we'll find out in um in like i don't know half an hour or something like that when we get to the to the castle in the desert did they call them the, the returners in this one they were always called the returners I don't remember them being called the Returners. They've they've always Damn. been called the Returners. I swear well, they've always been called the Returners. Goes to show how fickle memory is.
I'm gonna save state here just in case. Use the save area from the guards. Uh, fight three groups. Press Y to switch between them. That's not why. This is why. There we go. Uh, is this the group of Mog in it? Yep, okay. Because I know, at least in the old version of the game, you wanted to fight at least one group with Mog. Because then you got to learn the, uh, the dance. I don't know if he automatically comes with this dance or not, but... Master a new dance. There we go. Still true in this one. Does the Moogle glitch still work? I have no in clue. The, uh... I don't even know what the Moogle glitch even... was. Okay, I'm gonna have to go to the internet to give you an exact on how it worked. But... There is a thing you can do with the Moogles <laughs> in this cave that affect later things in the game. Kamog. I love Kamog. He probably fixed, he probably patched it out because there's a lot of things that uh, that have been patched out in this game like glitch wise. Hmm. If I remember correctly, I oh, I was about to say if I remember correctly, I can also unequip Mog and get some uh, sweet Mithril gear a little early. Yeah, and Mog has the Moogle charm if you know to search the wall. Search the wall, what? But um after you talk to Mog, you can get a Moogle charm. Oh, okay. Because it'll play a little animation, he'll go behind a wall. Go search the wall he went behind. Okay. There is a glitch, and the glitch I'm thinking of is all your party members turn into Moogles. And I do not remember how to do it. Okay. <laughs> Let's try stealing. Let's see how how this couldn't steal. Okay, that doesn't mean he doesn't have anything on him, just so they couldn't. Gonna put my hands in his pockets. Gonna see what he's got there. Rename card, okay.
Well, I don't think I'll be renaming anybody, but that's a cool thing to know that exists, I guess. And aren't uh, each of the Mogs there representative of the other characters you play as throughout I, the game? I think so, yeah. Yeah, each Moogle has, like, they're one of the other characters you can unlock. I wish I remembered this game better. Yeah, so do I. Hey, Kalon, serious question here. Hmm. Are you tired of every video game that has any kind of difficulty or permanent death or any kind of roguelike being called Souls-like? Yeah, kinda. I've been told... I've been watching... This This is a oh, classroom for the beginner. Unless you've played this mod before, that means you. Because I, I was told in the readme that I should talk to absolutely everybody in the beginner's classroom. Oh, okay. Sounds like a good idea. Yes. So you were talking about Dead Souls uh, last time. Mm hmm And I've been watching people play Dead Souls. I don't think it's a Souls-like game. Dead Cells, there it is. Dead Cells. Dead Souls is a book by Nikolai Gogol. Rather depressing. It's very Russian. And I'm watching Dead Cells, and it <laughs> looks quite a bit... Yeah, go ahead. I'm waiting for the joke to catch no, up no, on it's, my it's, end. It says, please don't just leave... There's, they're talking about how there's um, an option to turn off EXP gain, so that way you can gain like spell points and uh, gold without overleveling. And then uh, they say, please don't just leave it on all the time and then bitch to us about how hard the mod is. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, Dead Cells looks a lot more like Rogue Legacy than it does Dark Souls. Yeah. It it looks a lot more like Rogue Legacy than anything else and I'm tired of every single game going back to being called a Souls-like game. Salt and Sanctuary, I get it. You probably wouldn't have Salt and Sanctuary without Dark Souls. Yeah. Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight probably would not exist without Dark Souls. Okay. Iggy, I agree with you up until you said roguelike. Because roguelike is actually a thing. Yeah. Doom-like was people being overly reductionist. Souls-like is people being fanatically reductionist. Oh, so they've fixed that uh, tonics and potions restore percentage-based instead of uh, instead of a flat unit, and then dried meat is cheap and, and heals a flat amount. So uh, apparently chests no longer wait until uh, no more. There's no more uh, wait until uh, to open a chest until later in the game to um, get better loot mechanic. Hey, stamina. Okay.
Okay. Oh, that was a bad joke. That was a bad joke. They're talking about what the glows mean on your character during combat. And purple means stop. And the description for that is hammer time. That's bad. Oh, they got rid of the gauntlet and the Genji glove and just made it so that you can equip things in two hands now. Hmm. Oh, okay. X and Y to cycle. Okay. Okay. Jesus, there's a lot of people to talk to. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay.
And then this guy, and then I think I'm done talking to them. Oh! So a lot of stuff is now weaker to slow and stop. That's good. Alright. I'm done talking to everybody in here. I guess we can have a conversation again. Iggy, the, um... The ROM hack creator suggests very heavily to, uh, to talk to everybody in, in the beginner's hall, and I'm glad I did because it explains a lot of the changes. <laughs> I mean, fair, but I do remember some stuff. Like, I, I remember a lot of the stuff that they talked about, how, uh, like, you no longer need relics to uh, dual-wield weapons, which is good. You no longer need a relic to wield a weapon in both hands, which is good. Um, another thing I remember is that a lot of bosses are now susceptible to slow and stop, which is good. Sabin needed a relic to dual wield his own fists. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the thing that actually happened, and I just it was horrible. So I'm giving this I'm giving this mod a go. I think Diabetes played it a while ago, and that's how I heard about it. I don't know if that was a joke or what, but... Go see the king! Beatus started streaming with this? That wasn't too long ago. And I didn't know Beatus had only been streaming for that short a time. I've been streaming since like 2013. But I only really got into doing it regularly like, I don't know, two or three years ago. Probably two. I think it was a couple years at this point. Oh, hmm. I'm glad they left that line in. <laughs> okay, so he didn't take out all the Woolsey-isms, but uh, he didn't take out all of them, which is good. Feel free to wander about. Up 
here. Phoenix down. And nothing. Got it. Cool and good. Also, I want to talk to this guy over here. Unless his role has been changed. can't buy things from him anymore. Well, hopefully I didn't miss too much. No. Uh, they kept at least one Wolseyism in. It was the part where, uh, where Edgar's, like, hitting super hard on Terra and trying way too hard. And it's, like, line for line what it was in the original game. And it's super good because it's, <laughs> it's, it's super awkward and it's gross and I love it because it's just like why is he doing this okay, there's nothing down here Maybe that guy isn't a shop anymore because the only things worth buying off of him are uh, given to you freely by the game. Do the rest, yes. Gross! Savin needed a relic to dual wield his own fists. Yeah. They were talk the 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 mod talked about how you don't need um you don't need relics to dual wield and uh, double hand things anymore. I get why they're doing that as a relic. I'm, it's just, he's unarmed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, probably an oversight. I always wondered what the fans were for, because this is the flying castle, right? No, this is the castle that sinks into the sand and uh, and goes to the other side of the mountains. Okay, yeah. I don't remember... What, did we ever get an explanation for what those fans were for? I don't know, probably keeping you cool in the middle of the fucking desert. It's probably air conditioning. Maybe, air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I forgot that there is stuff down uh, over on the sides here, so I'm gonna go over there and find out real quick. Also, um, the guy, the the guy who used to be a shop in this part of the game, is no longer a shop. It looks like probably because um, they give Edgar his uh, his tools, the good ones, just right away, as opposed to making you buy them like a dummy. I don't know. We'll find out. Maybe the shop. Like, uh, what was that game? <clears throat> what was that game? There, I think it was a Dragon Warrior game. Where they offer you... Oh, wait, no, here we are. Uh, oh, no, this isn't... Hmm, okay. Where they offer you three levels ahead gear if you're willing to grind and spend four hours grinding to get the needed money to purchase the slightly higher tier gear which will be in game terms about hour hour and a half away past four boss fights right yeah 
and it was the Dragon Quest games that gave you the option of doing ah, this. Ah, here we are. Get, I found them. The starting town will sell you one or two things that are higher tier. So you can stick around town and grind. Then there's games like the Seventh Saga. Where you are expected to be overleveled at all times or the game is too hard. And even when you are overleveled, the game is too hard. <laughs> I believe there are people who've tried to put balancing patches and hack the game to make it more worthwhile. But the way the game plays, you can choose one of seven characters, and then you can team up with other characters and have a two-person party. And there are just, of the seven characters, four characters that halfway through the game, it becomes good day, sir, you lose. <laughs> Like, unless you had a... Yes! There's unless you were, uh... They still have the there's sand on my boots, uh, line. It's the middle of the desert, Kefka! Where else are the sand... Where else is gonna be on your, uh, sniffling doormats? Oh, God! Oh, that's much better than just call calling them idiots. Ah, oh, I like this. I actually do like Kefka in this. I like the subtle little things they do with the uh, animations. Yeah. <clears throat> I like how Kefka goes like, this girl just stole something of minor value, so we came all the way to this awful desert to find her. Yeah, basically Darth Vader is uh, is basically saying, eh, she stole like a pack of gum. We just want to ask her a question about it. So, what would have happened if Edgar had uh, Kefka killed then and there? Uh, well, considering Kefka is like a fucking powerful magic caster, I don't think that would have happened. I'm still going to argue that a cutscene crossbow bolt to the throat changes things. Yeah, know? probably. Oh, also a thing they changed is that, um, is that when Terra uses Morph later on, uh, it's a per it's a thing that you can switch on and off as opposed to it being a time thing, and, uh, like, she takes more damage, but she d deals more damage. It's like a risk-reward thing. Hmm. Yeah. It's, it seems like it's a lot more useful than, well, it's, it's on a timer, and that timing window is ridiculously small, and it barely does anything. Oh, they kept the Beavis and Butthead reference in. Yes! So this doesn't change too much of the... Uh, of the translation. It just, like, fixes up some grammatical errors, I guess.
I always liked this part as a kid. When the when the castle goes underneath the sand. Please still say he still sa says son of a submariner. Please tell me he still says son of a submariner. We'll find out soon. I forgot about this scene. Oh, they kept the loaded for bear line in. Oh. Yes. Yes. Uh, that fight was actually a lot easier. I think they had had uh, more hit points in the beginning, in the vanilla game. The submariner. Yes! Oh, they even <laughs> they even keep up, they even put in a new one. Oh, I changed my mind. This is the best. This is a good translation. <laughs> Spoonie King, huh? Yeah, they put in a new Woolsey ism. It's great. <laughs> I changed my. Uh, you might not have heard it, but I changed my mind. This is the best translation now. Especially yeah, no, I'm here. how early in the game this is. I've only been playing for an hour. I was like, this happens like hour two, right? No, this is like hour one. figured I haven't saved a why I should drop a state at the very least. I'm not gonna like abuse save states. I'm just say I'm gonna save state like at the you beginning of the You probably should. Eh, it depends. You should probably abuse save states to get through the game in as short a time as possible. Uh, uh, it depends on how hard the game actually becomes. Like I don't want to, I don't want to make this game super duper easy, but at the same time, I don't want it to be a chore to watch. Like uh, I'm sure the uh, the stream I did of Dark Souls 2 the other night was a chore to watch because it was two and a half hours of me trying to beat one boss, but it was mostly the run to the boss that was getting. Yeah, me. I got. 
an hour and 13 minutes into it, and then you started up the stream. <laughs> a recovery stream. Yeah. Or spring. Or otherwise, hey, idiot, grind here. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh no, it inflicted me with stop. It inflicted the one person I didn't want to be inflicted with stop with stop. <laughs> oh no, that's slow. Okay. <coughs> that's right, stop is purple. bucks for free. Do you think you could make a Final Fantasy game? <laughs> uh, probably not. I probably 100% could not make a Final Fantasy game. I would, besides, I would want to make something more along the lines of tactics than I would want to make with, like, than, uh, than base Final Fantasy. Oh, they all have, they all have, uh, they all have Mithril stuff to begin with, so that, uh, Mithril Spear I stole off Mog is actually just selling fodder. Why would they have Mithril stuff out the door? I don't know, probably to prevent you from, that... re from really going, hey, Mog has some really good <laughs> Mithril shit to begin with, let's just t seal his. <laughs> Even though it's exactly what I did. Well, yeah, that's what everybody who paid attention did. Okay, I need to stop attacking this guy with, uh, oh god, I really need to stop attacking this guy with, uh, fire magic, because he just, he counters that with lodestone, and that hurts. That's killing me more than, uh, anything else these enemies are doing. A thousand free bucks. Also, hi, random ninja. I see you just started watching. Yes, yes, I did. It's because it's Twitch so tells Taylor. you when your friends are watching. It's great. <laughs> yes, Malik. Are you aware that there is an, a My Little Pony Final Fantasy VI hack? What? Why? No. Because My Little Pony has been done everywhere, and it's like, I can't even enjoy the cartoon anymore because people are being weird about everything. But apparently, <clears throat> it is a complete overhaul of Final Fantasy uh, VI in that it had to fix and rebalance a bunch of things. And I'd love to see somebody play it, but I don't want to see anybody who's actually a My Little Pony fan play it. Oh, I understand that. Full disclosure. I will probably go back and rewatch the cartoon at some point. I cannot stand talking with people about the cartoon. It's like, just let me enjoy a thing, please. Yeah. It's kind of like how some people get really upset when I call anime cartoons. Yeah, I know, they're just cartoons. Dude, come on. 
Yeah. <laughs> I actually had one uh, girl tell me that I was besmirching thousands of years of uh, Japanese culture. It's like people get really upset when I call um, manga comic books. It's like they're they're comic books. That's all they are. Okay, uh, manga is Japanese are you for also comic. Going to argue that, uh, yeah. No, it's not. It's Japanese for graphic novel. That that's a comic book. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, Iggy. I don't purposefully go out of my way to piss people off with how I am. That's just how I am. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's... That's not a indoor. Got it. Okay. Whoops. Oh, well. What would you say is the worst Final Fantasy game you've ever finished? Oh, finished. Um... Finished. <coughs> In terms of story... Final Fantasy ten no, two overall experience. Oh, overall experience? Yep. Just one of those I played this game and I sold it kind of experiences. Or I played this game and I got a refund. See here's the thing, I've never really beaten any Final Fantasy that I didn't super duper like. I can't, the closest I've come to I will I will put put the closest one I've come to, I got to disc four of Final Fantasy Eight. A game that I hated. And, ah, yeah. Final Fantasy VIII, or Final Fantasy Esoterica. Yes. <laughs> um, I got to Disc 4, the very beginning of Disc 4, got stuck on, the, like, the very first boss of Disc 4, and then I was like, yeah, no, I'm done. I'm done, forever. I'm not playing this game anymore. Final boss of the game, or...? No, first boss of Disc 4. It's, like, one of the oh. last... It's one of the last bosses, yeah. I would have kept going if it was, um, if it was the last boss. I remember getting through Final Fantasy VIII, and it was annoying. Yeah, I oh, got, I got, Final I got. Final Fantasy VIII is another one of those. I broke the game doing stupid things out of order. <laughs> um, that that is my experience with the PlayStation Final Fantasy games. Yeah, I will, I will I say broke that. Them by doing things wrong. <laughs> I will say this much, though. The ending of Final Fantasy VIII sucked. That's what I heard. Hey, 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 hey. You want to know what the ending of Final Fantasy VIII was? Uh. Have you played uh, Final Fantasy X? Yeah. Have you played Final Fantasy X too? Yeah. Have you seen the endings of those two games? Yeah. That is the ending of Final Fantasy VIII. Hmm. Okay. This ship isn't going anywhere. <clears throat> Alright. Whatever you say, dudes. Let's go into the cafe. Oh! Oh, I wonder if they have another one- another really good line. Please tell me, please tell me I they- remember it. Please tell me they keep that line, the line that I'm thinking of. <laughs> oh no, the cafe turned into a pub somehow. Yeah! Oh! Okay, that's, that's close enough. Uh, I liked the original translation better. Uh, this one is, he'd slit his mother's throat for 50 GP. The original line was, he'd slit his mama's throat for a nickel. <laughs> he would slit his mother's throat for 50 Does that mean that 50 GP is worth a nickel? I guess. Damn, Japan, get your currency under control. <laughs> Uh, let's 
talk to this guy. It's been so long since I played this game that I'm actually talking to people to uh, to re catch up on the rumors and stuff. I remember the rough... I like relics, they're comfy and easy to wear! Oh man, they put a Pokemon reference in this. Did they? Yeah! <laughs> the guy just said, I like relics, they're comfy and easy to wear. Blind, blocks poison. I don't understand that reference. I like shorts, they're comfy and easy to wear. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Garden near Fatal Allies? Maybe his relic was secretly, uh, help me out here, Heelys. <laughs> they got rid of the uh, running These shoes. Strange. They got. Oh yeah, man! The... These strange shoes are from a time long before what oh, we knew blind, know now. Blocks poison. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's get these for. Yeah. Actually, let's buy. Okay. I'm wondering how long ago Dogecoin declared bankruptcy, because there's something to be said about that in lieu of Final Fantasy economics. Actually, they based it off yen, presumably, so a factor of 10 is about right. Oh, okay. Hmm. Huh. Well, that explains why solid gold is near worthless unless you have hundreds of thousands of it. Or are these, like, little teeny tiny pieces of gold? Hmm. That's right, you come down here later. Ah! So this town doesn't need a, um... Doesn't need an... An inn, because, uh, that... That save point right there is a, uh... Is one of those that restore your health. Tonics down here, which is good. Check the clocks! The reason they changed it to Gil was to disassociate disassociate it with gold pieces. That okay. I forget, was it still gold? Oh, oh! Oh! Oh, I was fast forwarding, that's why. Okay. Alright. I forgot that I com I completely forgot that I binded uh fast forward to a bu to a button. <coughs> chung 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 chung. Oh, okay. I thought there was another secret in this house. Apparently not. Oh wait, yes there is. It's behind the house. And another elixir in the clock, which is good. I like you I like clock elixirs. <laughs> it's just the stupidest oh what? Oh, okay. Where's the item shop?
Oh, was a servant for the richest man in town. Bring me some cider, and maybe I'll talk to you. That's some interesting random factoid, you know? Mm-hmm. Learning about old games and the direction things took and just how they were made, how they were put together. It's kind of like just going through a museum with dinosaur bones ah, and someone yes. yelling, Dino DNA! Dino DNA! Step. can't buy any weapons because I spent it all on stupid shit. I, I guess I could go outside town and like grind for a little bit of money. Oh, this is... Yep, alright. Wait, I forgot to check the clock. Nope, oh, okay. I think if I was going to design a Final Fantasy game, there would just be rude little surprises, like in the first room where you get control after the opening cutscene and all that, there's a thing that if you search it 50 times, a little text bubble pops up and says, you've searched this for 50 times, and despite there being nothing here the first 50 times, there's still nothing here. And then if you search it 50 more times, the game just goes, okay, sure. You search this 100 times. Here, here's a super weapon. <laughs> and it's like not even actually a super weapon. It's a squirt gun or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You're mean. That's how you unlock the dog ending. <laughs> Love the dog ending. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna abuse fast forward just a little bit when I have to walk back, when I have to backtrack long ways to uh to on a like a wall where there's no random encounters. I think that's fine. I think that's not cheating. Let's see how much money these things give me uh, per fight, and then I'll, I'll debate grinding. Come on. As if I can ever find anything. Here we are. See how much of an improvement jump is. Assuming fire doesn't kill them all. Okay. 65. Uh, oh, 100, 196. Uh, sure, let's. <coughs> Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Let's go find that, uh, that, that place that I could heal for free, myself for free. That was nice. Oh yeah, now I remember where it was. This way. I wonder how hard it was to put together, like, the progress for these kinds of games. I don't know. Like, 
By this point, they'd gotten pretty good at making Final Fantasy games, but do you remember Final Fantasy V? Kinda. I remember it a little Which bit. Which one was Final Fantasy V? That's the one with butts! <laughs> That's the character. Is that the one that everybody keeps doing Fiesta of? Yeah. <clears throat> Ah, okay, that was the job Fiesta one. Yeah. Oh, Zero Gravy, you're a little late on that one. Yeah, Zero... Well, he probably was doing research, and, uh... <laughs> oh, yeah, he got his degree in cartoons. Yeah. Well, how's that liberal arts degree treating you now? <laughs> Now you can win arguments on the internet, and it only cost you, like, $380,000. Maybe more. Okay, uh... I need more. Oh, I have three of those equipped. A uh, cotton rope. Oh, no! I, I, I don't know, Random Ninja. I'm gonna go with Capitalism is Worse Than Subtitled Cartoons. But without Capitalism, you wouldn't have subtitled cartoons. Or dubbed cartoons. I just want cartoons that aren't creepy in... uncomfortable ways. Or if they're creepy in uncomfortable ways, it is addressed and not part of a meta context of a subculture, you know? Yeah. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sure we all wish we had dollars. And I mean, people keep cheering Kalon on once in a while and covering up that shaking Wario ass. Yeah. You can watch ads and earn bits and then you can drop drop bits into the cup. But then I have to move Firefox out of my computer's DMZ. Mm -hmm. Or into my computer's DMZ. I'm sorry. I, I like my illusions of privacy, Kalon. Why would you do this? Uh, no, in all seriousness, advertisements, like, give me problems. Yeah, that's fair. I, I don't even know what it is, but it's, like the kids say, triggering. Maybe because I grew up in a generation that had, uh, what's his face? That guy who, not Jerry Lee Lewis, not Jim Carrey, he had a talk show thing where he would invite poor people to Chicago to stage fights on his show. Jerry Springer. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. I think that was around the time I started watching television, because, you know, I used to just not do television. And between that and wrestling, everything was so commercialized, so commodified, so upsetting to me for weird reasons. Let's see. I think that's enough money to buy some stuff. Oh, no! I was about to say that I think that's enough money to buy some stuff, but then I got into a fight. <clears throat> I'm just wondering how... Uh... Ah, I see what you mean. Like, I can understand human enemies and all that. 
having items and things. Yeah. But why would animals have cash on them? Hmm. It's probably more... The way I would explain it is that you gain... You, like, take their pelts and then sell it to a store. And then... But that part's really boring to do. Just like every game that actually makes you do that extra step is. So you just get the money instead. Hmm. Because I hate it in Witcher when I have to carry around, like, 20 wolf pelts just to get... Just to earn money off of the wolves, wolves that I killed. Kind of like some of the abstraction that Progress Quest does. Yeah. Do you want to know the worst thing about Progress Quest that I actually found out recently? Hmm. You are familiar with what Progress Quest is, right? No. Okay. Um, at some point... Go play Progress Quest. They have uh, online emulators for it. You can just type Progress Quest in. You don't even have to download the uh, the original anymore. They can emulate it through JavaScript on a website. Just activate cookies if you want to save it. And you can play the MMO experience of Progress Quest. Progress Quest is a game that abstracts everything about playing an MMO. It abstracts out death. It abstracts out so many different things. Like, it abstracts out you having to do anything other than create a character. And it literally becomes watching a series of screens gather loot, kill different things, up until your equipment load is too high and then selling all that stuff off buying better equipment and it's kind of goofy but at the same time you would think it'd just be randomly generated loot and monsters that you're killing on an endless series of quests until you reach level 99 and complete the game no it's actually in the background running the different generic bullcrap of the fights to figure out how long it would take your character to progress through progress quest. Hmm. It, you would have to see it, because the joke, the joke is really... Why are there waffles really in the simple. china cabinet? Maybe those are supposed to be books. No. But why are there waffles in there? It, is that supposed to be some kind of... Uh, maybe it's not supposed to be a china cabinet? Maybe that's supposed to be a refrigerator? Mm. Maybe that's a really complex waffle maker? I forget where the path to go up the so mountain is. who's the best is. character of Final Fantasy VI? Best character, Final Fantasy VI. Ultros. <laughs> Maybe it's a, just a yeah, waffle storage device. Yeah, okay. Maybe it's a giant waffle press. Hmm. One of those old-fashioned ones made out of wood that you have to burn things in. Oh, there's the mountain pass. Got it. Found it. Do you actually have to go to his house to unlock the mountain pass? No, but uh, I just went there because I forgot that you don't have to go there. I was like, I thought there might have been something important there. And there was a tonic, which is worth it in this version of the game. Because it's percentage-based healing as opposed to, uh, as opposed to Slim Jim. 
Okay. It's, it's a percentage-based healing instead of, uh... Instead of just a flat base healing. Yep. A Slim Jim. Yeah, I, I stole a Slim Jim! What's it do? What would you snap into it? Snap into it? Oh, yeah! Uh... Do I have to do the voice? No. Okay. The brawler's already long dead, anyhow. Uh, <laughs> even do the jump. Yeah, yeah, that's that's. I was reading it. Received butterfly. What? Oh, ooh, it's a knife. That means it's something that lock can. Yep, there we go. The Lufia games were something, Iggy. <laughs> like, arguably Lufia 2 was the best of the Lufia games, but at the same time, uh, the Lufia games. Wait, are the Mithril weapons actually worse than regular things? A lot of- yeah, that was how it was in the base game, too. Mithril weapons were, like, uh, really early stuff. They were, they were powerful for early stuff, but they weren't- they were still early stuff. <laughs> okay, Kalon. When are you going to stream Kingdom Hearts, since apparently you're doing JRPGs now? I've already streamed Kingdom Hearts, actually. I don't need to do it again. I've already done it. Power Glove. That's a relic, I believe. What's it do? Physical damage plus 25. It's so bad. I am starting to dislike this game. <laughs> <It's bullcrap. laughs> Might as well give it to her since she's the only one with a free relic slot and I like the other uh, relic set I have on these guys. The worst part about the Slim Jim item is that it didn't tell me how much it actually healed. Well, you snapped into it. I snapped it into it, and it healed her a lot, but it did not tell me how much she was healed by. Oh no! I take it that instead of trying to kill them instantly, you uh, ended up taking some damage. Uh, yeah, it's, well. So I should not hit those guys with uh, with fire. I should instead don't don't try and steal from monsters. Apparently, that's a bad idea. That will get you killed. So one of my best uh, one of my favorite things was there was a skill. It was pilfer in Breath of Fire Three, mm -hmm. where a character attacked, did damage, and had a chance to steal something. Oh, wow. Pilfer was pretty good. Unless Pilfer you were sounds trying pretty to good, steal yeah. 
rare items from enemies that, uh... that, that uh, could be killed by Pilfer. And the rudest thing about Breath of Fire, the, the whole series, mm -hmm. was the hidden stuff they would put into it that unless you already knew about it and had played this game like hundreds of hours inside and out to figure out everything, there is just no way to get past how esoteric some of the stuff was. Like, every Breath of Fire game had hidden bosses, to my knowledge. Oh, wow. And then they'd always have items that there was a fetch quest that you had to go across multiple chapters of the game to unlock and if you miss one part of it and can advance the game you end up just missing out on stuff and it's not like it's you, stuff you couldn't finish the game without it was always by the point in the game where you'd get it it's helpful and then it's immediately outclassed by whatever's behind the next boss fight <laughs> It's some of the rudest, dumbest shit ever. And I absolutely adore how dumb, rude, and stupid it is now that I'm not playing those games anymore. Because <laughs> now it, it's funny, like the band-aid came off real fast. <laughs> and there was that, ah, that, that, took, that took some skin with it. <laughs> but the cut healed over. Oh, whoops! I accident. Uh, oh wait, they they have stuff apparently. Yep, yeah, Mystic Quest was progress quest with less automation. I recommend going and. Finding a version of Progress Quest and playing it sometime, just, just to see it. Jeez, I'm getting my ass kicked. Hmm. You're not losing all the fights. You're just. Yeah, I'm not. I haven't lost Getting any. Some of your characters knocked down. Yeah, I'm not losing any bit. fights really. It's just I. These things deal a lot of damage that I'm not ready for. Hmm. Uh, Maybe you're slightly low in level. Maybe. Well, you're also not running from any fights, so you should. Like, it should average out eventually. Yeah. Oh, ow! What's imp do at this point in the game? Uh, it turns things into imps, I think. Don't complain to us that the game is too easy. I mean, too, too hard. hard, yeah. Oh, I found a thing. But yeah, I streamed... Kind of like Persona's it's... style of a uh, dungeon crawl and things. Uh, but I, I I've done a couple of Kingdom Hearts games on stream. I did uh, that horrible card based one. I did um, uh, Kingdom Hearts two. I did Kingdom Hearts two. Yeah. I've been meaning oh, to get Kingdom Hearts two is not the horrible card based one. No, it's not. Uh, that's what's it called? Ch it's Chain of Memories. That's what that's what that one's called. Isn't Chain of Memories 
like a reskin of Kingdom Hearts 1? No, um, it... It was originally a Game Boy game that, uh, that was, that had, it was, like, based on me Soar's memories, and, uh, and so you went to a lot of the same levels, but it wasn't, like, the same story. It was actually a way worse story than, than, uh, than the original one, somehow. Um, but it was... And then they made it 3D for the PlayStation 2, and then they released it in HD for uh, the PlayStation 3 and 4. Why? To make money, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Because they could. Also because it, anything to delay the uh, the release of, Final Fa of Kingdom Hearts 3. Anything. Just anything. Like, which do you think will come out first at this point? Kingdom Hearts 3 or Half-Life 2 Episode 3? Kingdom Hearts or 3, Half because they're actually 3. working on it. It was supposed to be out, like, last year, but that didn't happen. Kingdom Hearts Doom crossover. I would play the shit out of that. No lie. Okay. Are you the Doom Marine who has been transported to the Kingdom Hearts universe and you have to destroy the demons? Or, <clears throat> or, or are you just Sora in a Doom style FPS where instead of rescuing things you're now doing quick, nasty uh, obliterative kills on Heartless and stuff. Either way would be great. I would play it either way. There's no way that either one of those options would not be amazing. I would love to play a game where you are the Doom Marine gunning down Disney characters. <laughs> King and Doom Final Hearts. <laughs> That's a good name. Probably just be Kingdom Hearts with E1M1 playing over it if somebody made it, actually made it. I'd still play it! Not gonna lie. <laughs> Most bad statuses. What's a gum pod do? Here's 100 hit points. Okay. You can only use it in battle. Got it. Alright. I'm gonna save right before this boss. I'm gonna save state right before this boss. Long time ago, I pitched a game idea to uh, somebody, I forget who. They were like a game maker and I described it where 
it would be called Cutesy Bear's Adventure or something, something like just playing up all, all the different bits of it. And it plays like a kid's game where you have to run around a little sandbox collecting stuff, bringing them to people, so on and so forth. And then somewhere in the last third of this chunk of the game, you end up transported into a portal through hell, and it just turns into like a doom club where Cutesy Bear has become harrowed and has to fight his way back through hell to reach the specific circle of hell that he was trapped in. And when he gets back, it's like nothing is the same, but nothing has really changed. <laughs> like, you're now just a Whoa! harrowed, like... He had an X-Potion on him. Cartoon panda bear or something. With a shotgun and a portable circular saw, or maybe one of those concrete cutters, and all kinds of other just weapons and things. And then at the end, they give you the cake. You're just. Your hands are covered with blood, the blood <laughs> of foul demon. And maybe this was actually your hell all along. <laughs> In the Kingdom Hearts games? No, I don't think they kill Clayton in the Kingdom Hearts games. Uh, he gets crushed to death by a fucking giant lizard instead of hanging himself by accident, which is the best death in all of Disney, by the way. Because it was ironic. And also, like, brutal as hell? Go ahead and ramble about realism, Tiberius. Just go ahead and do it. How to do any of the blitz inputs? Um, you want me to look them up? Uh, yes. Step one, select blitz. Step two, press left, right, left, A. Okay, step three. Mm -hmm. Step four, profit. Oh, gross. Okay, so uh, they told me left, right, left, A. So. I hate how they've got memes in here. Like at first it was kind of cutesy, but now, yeah, now it's oppressive. Yep. I didn't sign on for this. All right. So yeah, left, right, left, down, uh, diagonal, down, left, left. Uh, no, I got Whatever. it. It's, 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 it's done. I'm done. Okay, yeah. Um. <laughs> it, it'll tell me in, in the menus now. They just needed to tell you how to do the first one to win. Quarter circle forward. Half moon away. Shoot, these are in, these are in PlayStation, uh. Oh, okay. 
So aura cannon doesn't have to be quarter circle forward, it can be down, down, left. Since not everything has diagonals. left, up, up, right, right, down, down, left. Okay. I don't know if I can do all of them to begin with. Uh, I think some of them are locked behind levels or story progression or something. Try the one that's left, left, I, up, up, right, right, down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, it, it'll tell me which ones I can use if I go into the menu and look at them. So let's oh. t let's do that. Uh, blitz. Oh, I can only use um, I can only use the ones right now. I think I have to level Humble. up. Yeah, I think I have to level up and uh, get more. Yeah. Because he used to start with, uh... He used to start with four, but remember, this is a ROM hack. Yeah. That's where I wanted to go. Yes. Alright, uh, we made it to the Returner's Hideout. I think this is a good stopping point. I've been streaming for just about two hours, so... So uh, this is this is a good st stopping point. I'll have a better layout for the uh, the thing on the right next time. But until then, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Adios.